everybody. So I wanted to snap this international exhibition, A Nation Skilled in War, the Lithuanian military elite in the 13th and 14th centuries. Obviously, uh, military is an interest to in me as a former, former Marine. Funeral pyres, cremation graves provided a great deal of important information about the custom of cremating the dead, which I personally think is a good idea for everybody. Although that's not a particularly crazy ecological belief. Riders, warriors, and raiders. So the warrior would have a sword, two spears, a conical helmet, chain armor, and a paviz shield, which I don't know what that means. Paviz shield. And like slide up his arm. Maybe some like leather grips on the inside. That looks to be correct. were made of gold and shimmered like a mirror while the weapons were of iron but looked as if they were made of silver. held the highest position in the hierarchy, as they should. It was they who embarked on the most complex military operations. And some of them belonged to the Grand Duke's entourage. Naturally. So these are the, uh, these are the Lithuanian 
tier one operators. I don't understand how they can be tier one operators without um, tactical fence and a beard and Oakley's. <laughs> All right, so uh, I will leave you with this um, pretty awesome but short exposition on the elite military. Have a nice day.